Oh, oh, hey guys, it's WarmConnell007 here, and I'm in the team builder. If you haven't seen this, it's in previous video, go look it up on my list. Um, what I want to do is build a team kind of around Obsidragon. It's something that I haven't really used <laughs> the way it should be. Um, so let's check it out. So, Obsidragon. So, as you can see, um, pure ancient um, ability. We're going to run secret ability, resilience. So as you can see, melee defense increases when you get hit. Um, item, I want to run dust. Um, because we're going to have beast slumber on here. So if we are asleep, it means that we can wake up. Um, moves. Everyone, exp like, obviously gets primal slash for stab. Um, but I, I want to just build it around coverage. So I want to give it mega chomp. Um, I want to give it earthquake. So Mega Chomp covers me from uh, light types. Um, generally, we'll hit most things neutral. Um, won't be too good against the clip. So <laughs> um, Earthquake covers me for those um, metal types. Um, let me see. And then Power Focus. Because we're going to be pretty defensive when we build this. Okay. Um, so I want to hit Totem. Um, where I want to obviously always remember the very goes in the, the right hand box here. I'm going to run very robust. We just want this thing to be a melee tank. Um, we will run sluggish, proper speed. And we will run clumsy because we're not going to use our range attack. Um, we want to max out our melee defense. And we want to max out HP. Um, energy stats pretty decent. So I'm just going to throw four in that. Now, this is where you could sit down. You could put the rest into like speed or range defense or range attack um obsidian has a really good melee attack stat um so i'm just going to throw it into that um so now we've got obsidian i want to kind of build a roundup and see how i can help support it so metal types come in i want something obsidian is going to kind of be my melee wall um i'm going to put in organosh Um, ability, we want to run madcap. That would make sense because we're going to run a uh, fairy fonda. So it does recoil damage and gives user plus one melee defense. As you can see, recoil damages moves are given boost on power, so we want to hit harder here. Um, item, I'm just going to run fire essence on this. I'm not going to make this overly defensive. Um, I want to have painful. Um, gives me a bit of coverage against water types. Um, rejuvenate. Just obviously to get us some health back. And finally, I want to try. Uh, I want to run sharpen, probably. And start setting up. Um, we are going to hit totem here. And I'm going to go. Ronnie, I want a bit of, I want a bit of hit on this. I'm gonna increase your melee attack. I'm gonna clever because we obviously won't come in for that range coverage, and we're not gonna use any uh, range attacks. So we're gonna go very clumsy. Okay. Um, with this set, I say we're gonna be looking at making this kind of tanky on the range side. So we're gonna go full range defense and HP. Defense, um, forty-four energy, uh, six melee defense. Um, it could potentially go into melee attack here, but I want to make sure that's got decent all-round coverage. Um, this is a pretty common Hogginoss set that's going around at the moment as well, guys. Um, so it is it is pretty worthwhile having a look at this one. Um, so that kind of covers us for range coverage that uh, covers us for like the clips um it also covers us for like so uh protagon um which is a common threat as well for obsidian so with, not only that uh, it will also help me get, remove icicle traps so it'll be a good addition um to the team next then um obviously that we've covered the the threat of 
metal. Um, we need to cover the threat of light. But again, I want to have a wee bit of offense in there um, to just kind of put a bit more power in it. So what I want to do is we're going to put in a Rex. So if you haven't used Tyrex, there's like a couple of different ways of running it. Um, the ability we're going to run is obviously Terrafan, which drops the melee attack on the opponent. It also covers us for those light types. Um, for example, you've got like Luminamini will flash and flee. Not many people run Luxor, which they're sleeping on at the moment. Um, Valkyrie also exists, um, but like Tyrex kind of deals with all of them. Um, item, I'm going to run Amulet. Because on the, the one that we're gonna run I'm gonna run Nimble Brawny. I, I like having that speed on, on Rex just to deal with flags like you know, as well. Um and Infernix. So let's go with one we're going with as a scapegoat. We potentially win a game for you. Um power focus. Earthquake. I'll see for your stab. And the last one is Needle Crusher. Stab. Um on this set, um uh, well, yeah. And we're gonna max speed, um max melee attack. Max speed I attack and then you get HP. Well, um, personality, um, brawny nimble, brawny nimble, and we're not going to use range attack, so we're going to make it very clumsy. Okay, beautiful. So now I kind of covered the weaknesses that Obsidian kind of holds at the moment. Um, we've also got a wee bit of offense in there as well. Got a decent bit of balance at the moment. So other thing that I want to look at is if someone comes in with barbs, how am I removing it? So to strike a bit of balance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in. Let's take a blue tox here. That means I can go in and lift those barbs um, straight away. A lot of people enjoy running sharp edges. I'm going to kind of mix it up here. Um, I'm going to run toxic spines. So if they come in contact, you chance to get poisoned. Honestly, guys, poison could potentially win you a game. I'm going to run energy orb. Um, rejuvenate is clear. Um, Aqua Jaws is such a good move here. Because it means obviously once you hit them, the melee defense runs drops by one stage. I'm gonna kind of run this a bit defensive. Um, and obviously on top of that, I think if we put, I think, like I said, poison can win you a game. So I think poison's a no-brainer here. And also it gives us a chance to set up traps. Um, which I see traps. So we'll run that. Um, personality we're gonna run is. We're not going to run any range moves, so very clumsy. The no brainer here. Um, we are going to run it with um, Robust. Obviously, for your melee defense. Also, going to run it as Nimble. Um, just to kind of counteract the threat of an Ikazuni shoot to come in. Um, because if it does, then it can threaten us. So, what we're going to do here is we are going to look at running 144 speed to cover for our dear friend Igazuni. I'm going to put four energy there. I'm going to put in 300 melee defense. And then that leaves us for 152 HP. So that's what we're going to run with that. Now, at the moment, I'm running here with kind of four melee attackers. Um, so we need to put in a better range moves here now. So we need to kind of start thinking 
what am I doing? I've got quite a lot of offense in there at the moment, or defense in there at the moment. Um, I want to throw in Duskip because wrestling exists. Um, not many people use Duskip. Mean Spirited would be good, but I'm not rolling anything to put it to sleep. So, I'm going to harmonize here. Um, item, I think that looking with it could potentially just go cuffs here. Yeah, we'll go cuffs. Our cuffs. And moves. We are going to go dark surge. Um, we will go um, spectral burst. Lego Blast and Peace of Mind. We need 8 range defense. That stops Protagon from getting a plus 1 because, as you can see here, the melee defense is 106. That allows it to get a 107 there, as you can see. Um, its energy stat is really good. So we'll stick that at 4. And we'll just run with. The rest then across so we want to max out our speed we're in good speed here there and um, we want to max out our range attack who's this idiot um we'll just throw the rest in the hp alternatively you could throw it into range defense um if you really wanted to um smart would be good here but i need a bit of speed i'm just going to run pure nimble on this one um we could potentially run smart but I've, I've, no legs in my team at the moment so i think that would be quite good um just to kind of mix it up also it's kind of decent if, if venalin comes in i can just have peace of mind and cycle blast as well um so yeah i think that's going to be a good addition um i would need another range attacker um kind of give a bit more balance because Earthquake kind of deeds with Hoganosh, Tyrex, and Blue Tox here. Um, so I'm going to put in Nimari. Um, I'm going to run Secret Ability. Uh, item we're then going to run is uh, Light Essence. Uh, moves, I can't pulse clear because I want to hit as hard as possible. Um, obviously, the Secret Ability, Light Types, 25% more damage. We add Light Essence on it and Gamma Pulse. We're doing some big boy damage. Um, Airblade. Um, we also want to run uh, Peace of Mind. And Arch. Give us recovery. Or do you run Flash and Flee? Because then that would give us a pivot. Um, what to do? What to do? What should we do? Don't really have any pivots at the moment. But I've got a defensive team. I'll run that for now um, and see how we get on. Uh, what we're going to do here is we want to have personality nimble because Vesper has Vesp exists. Um, it just creeps Vesp uh, if it's run nimble. Um, you want to max out your speed. You want to max out your melee attack, or range attack, sorry. Um, or energy, at least it's 96. Um, Looking at it, good. Put it into a bit into kind of melee defense at 96, but I'm just going to kind of add a wee bit of extra range bulk here and put it into range defense just to kind of beef it up a bit. Because now look at those stats like, look at that. If I, if I get a peace of mind on that as well, it, even like things like Protogon's going to kind of struggle with us if we can get in before Protogon comes in. Um, Pretty tasty to be honest with you. So looking at my team right now, what is what's kind of gonna threaten me is how do I deal with Hember? Oxidric. Okay, so I'm gonna add another melee attacker in here. I'm gonna be heavy on the melee side here. Um I think wrestling is a pretty obvious choice here. 
Um, ability we're going to go for is Ace. Um, item we are going to go for Brawler Essence. Um, mouse is obviously Adaptive Assault. Also going to put on Aussie Bulk Up. Now this is where he kind of got options. Um, I think the the game of wrestling could sit there and you could go through. Yeah, if I go brawling, I don't know what blaze punch is obvious. Because if we don't have blaze punch, bro, you know we can't really chip any spirits coming in. And then probably stretch. I can get stretch. I can outspeed most things. Um. Melee attack, or actually max melee attack for pure damage. I'm gonna go max speed. Um, energy. We need to like look at its energy stat right now. It's pretty poor. I think it's ninety. It's just a two fifty mark, and pick the rest into HP. All of eight. Oh, not eighty. Eight. <laughs> Um, personality, we want to run, we'll go Nimble Brawny. Nimble Brawny. Then we'll go very clumsy. So that's pretty, I think that's a pretty good team. Um, like what threatens wrestling? You got uh, Meritoad. You got Rex for it. Um, you got poison types, a Protox and Duskit there that can help out in that. Um, they have a Nimray, it's probably going to threaten us a wee bit. But then I'm going to have to kind of rotate around it. Um, so there is some threats out there. But I think that's pretty decent. So let's see how we get on with this. So I'm going to leave it off here and see how we can get on after building a team round upside down. Okay, so we've built our team. Um, let's see how we get on. Guys, if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Um, okay, so let's see how we get on. Going against um, one only chosen. We're bringing up Cedric on in, um, which can help us with probably Deer Knight and Hondo here a good bit. Um, also, we could potentially get our dear friend Falkwee on the swap. What's he likely to lead off with here? Potentially Munchwheel. Which threatens us a bit. Um, Rex deals with a couple of things here. Um, we need to bring Nimere. He's got no trap setups here. It's a pretty aggressive team. Um, you do pretty well for us here. I think in wrestling, like wrestling does threaten quite a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I think wrestling's gonna be coming in well for the likes of Rex. Yeah, wrestling deals with loads of stuff here. Yeah, let's see how we can get on. Let's leave with Rex. And much we lead. Okay, air fan, so we'll drop his melee attack. There's no way he stays in here. Um yep, this team. Um, bu -bu -bum. what does he have for Rex? Nothing. I don't think anything in his team wants to take an earthquake. Let's earthquake from here. Get him down here by half. Okay, he's bulking up now. Fine, that's going to put him back to. I'll put him back to neutral damage, but I'll put him to plus one defense. Get him to plus two defense now, so he can now take a hit. Fine. Real quick, one more, and he'll be gone. Uh, we are gonna have to take a hit here. I think. If Cedragon takes in a hit. And then we'll swap back to Rex. I think that's the plan. Expecting something like Mega Chomp. 
Okay, so we take the hit there. He's now going to steel crusher me. So we'll bring Rex back in and we'll lower his attack down by one. Push for another bulk up. Okay, so I can't expect that coming. We're just going to earthquake from here. See if we are in range. Kind of need to protect Rex because it really pressures his whole team. Mega Chomp. What sort of damage are you doing to me? Oh, he got the flinch. <laughs> he got the flinch. Okay, he's going to act first. Don't know about... Yeah, we'll just earthquake actually. That's going to say if it hits... Yep, go, there's no point. Steel Crusher does absolutely nothing to me. And then we take Munch Wheel down. That's 5 4 to me so far. Only thing I need to watch is my energy management with Rex here. Thunder comes in. Um, he's going to threaten me. Probably with a blaze chomp, so yeah, we're going the opposite. We're going here. Blaze chomp. I'm gonna take that hit. I'm happy enough just to force an earthquake here because when we looked at his team, he had what Serenade, Obsidragon, um, Valkyrie. I think no, an earthquake should be fine at this point. Oxidric. There's the earthquake. Super effective. Now we wanna we could sit here and we could try and go one or more more of Oxidric. The problem that we have is it's got recovery. So what we can do is either go Nimari or we can go wrestling. Because of Primal, um we wanna go or outburst rather. We wanna go to Nimari because light should be um the way forward here. He went for a bulk up. I'm a lot faster on him. And he doesn't have any uh, plant types. So Gamma Pulse is great chip here. I'm not giving Oxidric any time to sit there all day. There's no way I'm letting this thing sit and set up on me. Withdraws. Um, what's he send in? Falkyrie. Fine. I hit Falkyrie for what? About a third. So we know that he's got Steel Crusher, we know he's got light moves. Um, this is where Hoganush now comes in. Okay, goes for Magnify. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um gonna go for the fairy fondant just for a gamma pulse plus two gamma pulse that's gonna hurt melee defense goes up i can't take another hit like that hogan i shall go down um and because he got magnify on i didn't need to let we're gonna drop here. The fairy fondant. Not that it's gonna matter. So we'll let hog drop. That brings us to four all. Um, we're now in range, so I think we will bring Nim in just to tidy up. Uh, we can Gamma Pulse, we know we can take that amount of damage off him, no problem. Not a concern. The reason why we're doing it is just so we can set up here for the next person that comes in. Um, Hunter's likely. I would assume. Yeah. So this is where we now check into Obsidragon. K 
kind of just wall thunder right here. Mega Chomp. Get the resilience. Back then Oxidric. So again, we can Earthquake here just for that extra bit of chip. Obsidragon's like this is what Obsidragon does. Oxidrick comes in. There's that earthquake. Super effective. He could bulk up. Um I'm gonna go back in the Nimari. Crusher. It's gonna hurt. Oh shoot, less it. Yep, just about. Just about no more. Um, Gamma Pulse, if he goes in the Hunter, this is gonna hurt him. Okay, and we're then go back into. We'll rotate it this time. He should expect up Sidragon. We're gonna go Rex this time. Get the melee attack drop on Hunter. Goes for a mega chump. Now we go on Sidragon, because he's gonna outspeed us here. So if he blaze chomps us. Could be a bit painful on Rex, but we've got him down to minus one. And we get our earthquake in here. Protagon comes in, gets the plus one attack. Yeah, Hoganosh would have been pretty decent right now. So, thing is, we've kept wrestling back on purpose this whole time. So, I kind of need to keep Obsidragon. Um, just to deal with the Hunter hit. So, what we then do is... Like wrestling and Obsid Obsidragon should be able to deal with um, Oxidric here. So what we'll do is we'll go. I'm gonna metal boss this. We'll go Rex. See if we're gonna last one hit. The energy surge. Yep, lasted one hit. Um, we know we're dead here. It's fine. It's all part of the process. And now we go into wrestling. Um, we go adaptive assault. Oh yeah, I swapped um, stretching a team build to actually drive him force guys. By the way, just so you know. I was thinking about it, I was like, I might as well have some sort of coverage. Start burst. Hits us three times. Takes him down. Thunder comes in, threatens. We go Obsidragon. He should double. He should double into Oxidric here. But he doesn't. Okay, so we are quick here. So this is what Obsidragon does. On the Oxidric. Oxidrix is just going to hit Rejuvenate here. So... Hmm. He can slumber. If I, if I try and bring Nimray in now, I'm in trouble. His energy, my energy, is the pain here. He's going to outspeed me. He hits Rejuvenate. 
he covers himself. I just bring them in here and he clicks rejuvenate. The risk. Will it be worth taking? No, he went for Steel Crusher. Okay, so Nim goes down, which means that we have wrestling now. So he just clicks Adaptive Assault twice and wins. He takes care of Oxidric. And then got Hunter here. Um, who has enough energy for one move. We had Adaptive Assault. If he takes Wrestling down, it's fine. Which then leaves us the Obsidragon. Who has literally put the work in this whole battle. And we hit Earthquake here. For the game. So I think that they, I think that team actually worked out pretty well. Uh, let's guard down the rest because he needs his energy. Go for the earthquake. And then we give him a GG. Um, so there you go, guys. There's um, Obsidragon's team builder. The one thing I say I changed from the team builder was a bit driving force instead of stretch, on for wrestling. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, Obsidian's pretty good. Um, it it did its job, it literally did its job the whole time. She came in, took hits, earthquake, took hits, earthquake. It was really really good to kind of use it against it. Um, guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Whoop whoop, keep it country, and I'll see you next time, guys.